Hello, uh, Tim Shaw here from Car SOS. Now I'm here at the London Motor Show, and one particular car has grabbed the attention of this whole event, and it is this particular car here. This is a, basically a Resto Mod E-Type because. E-Types are a world famous car, but if you've ever driven one, they look beautiful, but they do not drive well. But this particular car, I mean, have a look at that. So this is the Evolution E-Type. And this is the man here, Ulrich, who is responsible for that thing there. Ulrich, tell me, right, I want to start from the basics. So let's, where did the project idea come from? Uh, quite simply, really. I started the business making parts for E-Types. Right. Now, we got more adventurous and we started making more and more parts and I came up with this ridiculous idea of actually making a car with all the parts on it. And that's how the Evolution car started. It's, a, right. it's an aluminium based car. So I took it one step further and based it on a, on a load rag. And, and that was, that was the, birth, the birth of the car. Okay. So in terms of modifications, let's just skirt over what is different between a standard E-type. The heart of the car is the engine, so let's start there. So you've got a high torque engine, yep. which isn't the race engine because it's for the road. Okay. Uh, we've got a five-speed ge gearbox. We've got a modified race suspension that actually works like right. it should. <laughs> um, we've got um, electric power steering, electric aircon. It's got optimized front suspension. So if you look at this, the stance of the car, the wheels are actually filling the arches a lot better. When you look at certain cars, it's hard to work out why it just looks right. And I think it is the way that the wheels fill the arches as being one of the many different things. Can we talk about the headlamp lenses? Because the one thing I know about these, and I've got a few friends who've got E-types, is you get a condensation issue on the, the headlamp lenses. Am I right in thinking you've modified this slightly so that, that that's... Electric, heated headlight lens. That's heated? Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. But I tell you what drives me, it's passion. I dream about re-engineering things the, and, and this, is, this, is, this is what actually drives me. This is my passion. In this life. is a show winner. Oh, yeah. that Mike yeah. Brewer came in here this morning and this was yeah. the first car that he saw. Yeah. Uh, he had a look around the whole thing and he came up to me and he went, have you seen that? Yeah. So is this a car that anybody could get into and yeah. drive like a car in 2020? You go around a roundabout and it does exactly what you want it to do. Right. right? How I look at this car is you can go along in fifth gear uh, 90 miles an hour and it's doing 2,500 RPM. Right, chilling. Drop, drop it into third and you can burn off the Porsche that's trying to overtake it. Is that right? Yep. It's a high torque engine, it'll just, it'll do what just you want it, it to do. Fly. Can we look under the bonnet? You certainly can. Let's do it. Right, what's under here? Are you ready? Oh my word. Okay, this is verging on one of those vehicles. I mean, I'm a car guy, but this is one of those where you almost say it's a piece of art, you shouldn't drive it, but it's designed to be driven, isn't it? When we say high torque, it's developing the power from virtually idle all the way through to 4,500 RPM. Now, it's got a five-speed gearbox and it's got a high axle ratio, but because right. it's high torque, it's like a steam train setting off. The wheels are spinning. Yeah, yeah. You've got too much torque. So this is off the lights. This thing just oh, is it's dust. amazing, absolutely amazing. It's a lot tidier than a standard E-Type engine, yeah. but the, the 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 concept and the, the DNA is exactly the same. They're the, not standard wishbones. They we make them on the aluminium cars. We make our own aero grade wishbones. Right. I, I've got to be honest with you. This car is off the scale in terms of the quality of the build. The craftsmanship is incredible. The paintwork. Who who painted this car? We did, one of my guys did. Because the thing is, well, if I'm honest, when you look around cars at car shows and you've done it yourself, you can look into little places and go a bit of oxidization, a bit orange peely there, or they, they overlook this. But every bit of this car, every bit of the paint has been treated like it's the outside exterior paint. I work. don't tell you how long we took. No, go on, how long does it take to paint one of these things? This was four months. Four months? Four months. How many man hours have gone into making this? This is the, the first prototype you're looking at. Four to five thousand hours. What? Four to five thousand hours. Can we have a look at the interior quickly? Yeah. So this is fairly standard. What one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to change the DNA of the car. Right. So the clocks, yeah. the dash, the seats, mm -hmm. but it's all been re-engineered. Steering so wheel. Steering wheel short, yeah. smaller, yeah. but it's still the city wood it's green same, one. Yeah, absolutely. The clocks, the Smiths, the dash, all the dotty aluminium. Yeah. I'm not even going to tell you how much it costs for us to develop that. You've developed that? Yeah, it's exactly the same as the original, but a lot better. So go on, tell me how much it costs. To get the, to get the patterns made and to get a batch of that costs 10,000 quid. 
Did it really? Yeah. Jesus. Ten grand. But now I've got enough to do 25 cars. Well, I've it. got to be honest with you, this is a, an absolute show winner. What, what is it priced at? Around the 600 mark? Six, yeah. So that's, two, in comparison to, well, as far as I'm concerned, for the quality of the car, it's a cheap car. Too cheap, too cheap. It, yeah. it is though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. In the real world, as far as, if you told me that was a million pounds, because the, the, there's a competitor out there mm. who, would, who I don't think this car is as nice as this, mm -hmm. and it's around the million pound mark. Yeah, I know. So why don't you increase, the, off the record, why don't you increase the price of this? We will do, we will. It's a bargain. Trust me, take it from me. Because I meet these guys every now and again who don't quite know how good they are, and I'm standing beside one of them now, so before he changes his prices, get one more. As long as you like, <laughs> take me out in it.